Alright, so right now we are standing in our new kitchen. This is my first attempt at making a recipe now that I have more space and I have all this amazing counter space. Cooking has been a really strong component of, you know, Kern and I maintaining a healthy diet and I wanted to share a bit of that with you. Today we're going to make a really, really simple recipe that I actually found from my mother who got it from Martha Stewart. And Martha Stewart, you know, hands down, she's probably one of the most phenomenal cooks out there. Especially after meeting her at Blog Her this year in New York City, I am just a huge fan of hers. So um, we're going to try to imitate her recipe for spicy uh, peanut chicken. And uh, it's very, very simple here. Let me just see here. Make sure I didn't miss anything. The only ingredients that you need for this recipe are some all natural peanut butter, which I prefer. You don't have to use natural, but I think natural always tastes better. You want it to be creamy and definitely on the sweet side, so you don't want it to be too dry. And um, a little bit of sesame seed oil, soy sauce, a little bit of rice vinegar, water, and a little bit of hot sauce, and it doesn't really matter what kind you use. She has her own brand here, which I'm not even going to attempt to pronounce, um, but I just grabbed some hot sauce from my fridge. I think anything will do. Um, as long as it has a chili base to it, it's just to give it a little bit of kick. And then your chicken breasts, which I have laid out here. Um, so all we're going to do now, I've already mixed the ingredients. I'm going to post on the blog the exact measurements for everything, but I have here in my pan all my ingredients already already in there blending. So I'm going to just grab a spoon and I'm just going to blend that together a little bit more. And honestly, once you have the ingredients mixed and your chicken is um, coated, you just pop it in the oven, you broil it for 10 minutes, and that's it, literally. So it's really an easy, simple recipe to make. For the whole family, and I love, love, love peanuts. If you're allergic, this definitely is not for you. Um, and I, you know, I don't eat a lot of chicken, but I do try to incorporate it sometimes into our diet. So we're almost ready here. And you know, if I, if I were you, we have a big family, it's always nice to have leftovers. So you can always cook a big bundle here. I mean, it's, it's really easy, so. Almost ready. So you just want to cook that until it's well blended, and um, and then you're just going to dip your chicken in. And you want to also make sure that before you start mixing, you just turned your oven on to broil. I put it on high because it doesn't take very long for this to, you know, for you to mix your chicken. And you want to make sure that the oven is nice and hot so it cooks quickly. So I'm just going to coat this in here a few times. Transfer it to my pan. Okay, and um, we'll check back with you in a few minutes when it comes out of the oven. Right, so we'll we are back with the completed spicy chicken. Literally, it took 10 minutes, just like the recipe said, because you know how sometimes they can be a little off, which is frustrating. I timed it 10 minutes, and it's perfectly, consistently, cooked all the way through. I know this may not do it justice, but just to give you a little preview of what we're dealing with here, absolutely smells amazing. And I tasted the coating. And if you like peanut butter, this is definitely gonna be one of your favorites. And so all I've done now is I paired it up to make it a complete meal. I've paired it here with um, some brown rice, 
and some asparagus, which we, which I just flavored with some red wine vinegar and a little bit of soy sauce. And I just sauteed that in a pan for a few minutes to get a little soft. And tonight, for something sweet, because I'm craving it, I'm gonna make some. I just got some new whey protein. Um, now I really like whey protein because it's one of the purest forms of protein. Um, it doesn't have a bunch of crap in it. It's very raw. So, you know, it has two grams of sugar per serving, 24 grams of protein, which is amazing. And it has just, yeah, only 20 grams or 20, yeah, 20 calories from fat per serving. 100, 140 calories and 20 of those from fat. So that's really, really low. Um, and this is great. I always like to have protein on me because you can add this into any dessert and make it a little bit healthier. Um, a lot of people are usually neglecting protein, especially women. So you want to make sure that if you're not a meat lover, another great way of getting your protein in is to add in your whey. You can add it to shakes, which I like to have in the morning, but tonight I think we're going to add it into a brownie. I just got done now baking some delicious protein brownies, like I had mentioned, using the whey protein. Oh my god, these little little bundles of joy are amazing. They're very tiny, which is a good thing because I could probably eat about 10 of these right now. They're that good. Um, all I did was I took a regular cake batter and I added in some about a cup of my whey protein, which I had showed you, along with about three, two to three tablespoons of creamy peanut butter, all natural. And I also added in a, about three handfuls of, of crumbled pretzels. So you have that sweet, salty combo, which is a recipe for disaster. Don't do it, um, because it's, it's really that good. I have my second batch in the oven, and I'm going to go enjoy these now. So I'm going to post this recipe below as well. Very easy. Just grab your cake box at the grocery store. If you want something quick, you can always do it from scratch if you are trying to be super, super healthy. But like I said, just by adding a cup of the whey protein, and I also used olive oil instead of vegetable oil, um, a really light olive oil actually, not the virgin kind. I used that also, so you can make you know little adjustments to make it a little bit more healthy. All right, so I'm gonna go enjoy this. And hopefully you'll enjoy yours as well after you're done making what I've just made. Enjoy. <laughs>